Hi everyone, hope you guys are fine. In the last playlist of our coding hacks and tricks, we had discussed use effect dependency warnings and some uh, VS Code execution policy. So today we are going to discuss a few more dependency warnings, a few more, more React warnings. Uh, let me show you. The first one is the key props. The another one is you can see over here it is coming yeah you can see react unmount memory leak issue the third one is you can see uncontrolled input warning and we have uh, one another warning uh, i will reproduce this uh, during the video so let's get started the first warning is as you can see he is saying every prop should have uh, the unique prop key every child should have the unique uh, keyword key so let's go to our code this is my code so where it is saying it is saying me in temp component so let's go to the temp component okay but I cannot see anything uh, returning over here so let's go to temp parent which is the navbar as you can see here is the mapping i'm just returning a temp component whereas i should return provide a unique key the unique key would be anything a random id or anything else so i am providing him the index because it will be unique every time when the map returns so let's see Okay, it's still there. It is saying navbar. Oh, sorry, I just misspelled this. Now it should be removed. Yeah, you can see it is removed. So now let's resolve our second dependent warning uncontrolled input. There are two uh, main reasons for this uh, warning. So let's go to this input file where it is in input. It it is on about page and this custom input you can reference it from here it is saying you can see it is an in input field input or it is in custom input so I know my input is in custom input so here it is the two main reason is the one is you should always provide a value to the input and the other is uh, you need to provide an initial value so here is my input and here let's provide an empty string let's reload this you can see we are not facing an issue the main issue was you can see let's me control z and you can see it is saying <coughs> this is likely caused by changing undefined to a defined value because initially we hadn't we didn't provide any value and on change it is it it gets the value so we need to provide in the empty string right so this is the, our second warning resolved so our third warning was when I refresh this component data is coming from API it takes some three or four milliseconds so when I refresh this and change my component the data is coming from uh, coming in about component but I am on article component so that's why it is saying there is a leak of memory so let's resolve this issue you can see it is saying about cleanup function in about component so let's go to the about component you can see here I have the API call which takes some uh, milliseconds to retrieve the data when I change the component while the data is retrieving so it says uh, this warning so let's get started I will simply say let let mountain mount it is equal to true and while it is being pressed first check if the mounted is true then do the set state and then return mounted to false Okay, it is giving me okay I just misspelled so let's check again 
let me refresh this component and switch this let's wait for three milliseconds three seconds and you can see the warning is removed again let's see the data is coming from from the API let me refresh this change the component Mm, and you can see there isn't any warning so this was our third warning uh, now I was talking about another warning let's reproduce this uh, this is let me go to the custom input and do my set straight over here what I'm doing I'm doing nothing I'm saying whenever this custom input is called the set straight hello world yeah you can see it is satisfied hello world but when I do this you can see here is another warning cannot cannot update about component while rendering custom input what he is saying there is a bad side state in custom input so what is the bad side state we are not calling it in any function or on any call so we need to call it on any on change or on any function we are calling it without any uh, you can say without any input or input or anything we are just calling it it, it is again and again setting the value hello world to the state so this is a bad practice so we should always do this in our own change component so this is the warning so if i just delete this and save this it should be removed let's refresh this you can see there isn't any warning and we are good to go so today we had discussed uncontrolled input bad set state memory leak warning and key props is required in all values hope you guys enjoyed the video do provide your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye